Hi everyone, Sindra here. Welcome back to another day in Stardew Valley. Let's see what's on the TV. Tomorrow it's going to be cloudy with gusts of winds throughout the day. Uh, spirits are somewhat annoyed today. And it's time for another living off the land. Back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. If you're a farmer in a small town, like me, <laughs> it's likely you'll be invited to create a Grange display at some point. What's that? Typically, a Grange display consists of nine items that best showcase your talents. Shoot for high quality, high value items and make sure to have a variety as well. Fish, minerals, artisan goods, fruit, and vegetables are all good to have. Don't we have some type of festival coming up? Like a, uh, a fair or something? Maybe that's what this is talking about. We'll take nine things with us when the next festival thing rolls around. And apparently we need to have a different variety as well. <laughs> now we do have some high quality stuff that I've saved, which is good. I'm glad I did that now. Um, we'll figure that out. We'll go take a look at the calendar today. Got going on here. Uh, hello, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I went to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Probably not. Oh, oh, somebody told me about the uh. About the shorts. Find Linus's basket and return it to him. Okay. No clue what to do with that one. But. That it's in the house somewhere. And I need to. Zoom in. Which I'm already zoomed in. But I was. think I was looking in the wrong place. Oh I can't place the gold bar in there. Um, Like this. We'll put the earth crystal on display. And we'll put this this chub on display. Or maybe the ghost fish. We'll put the ghost fish. And we'll take some of our high quality crops as well. Um, we can get rid of the daffodils. I'm just going to start handing those out to people. We'll do that today too. So we got uh, the pickle bok choy again. We'll sell those. While I'm standing over here. Mushrooms. And we'll actually keep all of them. <laughs> Alright, let's start watering plants. So there's something I want to talk about while I water today. And that is, and this will be coming out a little over a week from when I'm recording it, but it'll still be very relevant. Over the past few months, uh, people, what are these? Oh, the cranberries are ready. Awesome. Over the past few months, um, I've had a few people say that they're going to start YouTube channels, which I wish all of you the best of luck, and the most important part is to remember to have fun with it. That's... I think that's one of the most important things. And have asked me for tips, advice, um, beginning things like what type of recording programs I should, uh, what type of recording program do you use? Uh, do you have one that you recommend? Uh, things like that. And um, an old friend of mine who sadly doesn't talk to me anymore, uh, she's really busy. Uh, it goes by Fire Kitty. You probably heard me talk about her if you're a veteran of the channel over the years. Uh, she's the one that got me into Let's Playing, funny enough. <laughs> Talking about getting people into Let's Playing. And uh, she had a help desk series of videos, which is basically how she did her videos. Like what she would do, um, her settings... And just some general tips. Now, I'm not that good at it all. 
but I've still done this for a little while now, and I could give give some tips. So, if you're watching this, whether you are a YouTuber or not, do you think it would be it would be cool, interesting, etc., a good idea? If I did maybe a short series of videos like that, show off some of my settings, the programs that I use, um, and just give some, some general advice on editing, setting up settings, uh, things like that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea. If you are a YouTuber of some kind, uh, you're just starting out or whatever, or maybe you're just a fan of mine, uh, would you be interested? Let me know about that in the comments as well. And one more thing on this subject as I continue to water the plants. Uh, it's very... I don't have the right word for it. It's just really cool to know that I've inspired a few people from my videos to make a YouTube channel to have people make a YouTube channel and uh, make videos of their own. It's it's a really cool feeling. So, I just wanted to uh, to say that. It's humbling, and I wish all of you the best of luck. Yeah, I think I'll be exhausted, though. Nope, right at zero. Ha <laughs> ha! Did the math right. Well, I know what I'm doing now. But, uh, and thank, thank all of you for having enough, uh, trust in me to want to ask, uh, for my opinions and my, my advice. That, that means a lot to me. It really does. That you think enough of my videos and me as a Let's Player that, hey, I'm starting out and I trust you to ask you for your advice. It's, uh, I, like I said, it just, it, that means a lot. So thank you. And I hope I can help out. Um, like I said, this has happened over the past few months. Just a few people. It's not like some big thing. But, uh... Again, let me know in the comments if, if you would like to see a series of videos like that. It'd just be a short, a very short series, just a couple of videos going over uh, the programs that I use, which I've talked about before, but just go over some of the settings that I have, um, why I chose those settings, and uh, things like that. And for those of you that are curious right now... <laughs> Uh, I could talk a little bit about it while we soak. I can tell you the programs that I use. I use uh, OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. It's a free program. That's what I use to record the audio and video. Uh, that's what I do for these live commentaries. Whenever I do update videos, I use uh, Audacity. Just the uh, free version. I think they have like a pro version. But I just use uh, the free version of Audacity. To record the audio and to uh, edit the videos I bought a video editor a while back called video pad video editor it's I got it on sale it was like $40 but I think it's normally 80 um, I like to call it a light version of which one's the editing program premiere from Adobe it's like a light version of that of Adobe's editing program. And it served me really well. It has some issues. You know, I'm not going to say it's perfect by any by any means cuz it's not. It does have some issues, but it has served me well overall. And when I first started, I used uh Windows just Windows Live Movie Maker because it was free. <laughs> And uh, it, it gets the job done. You can't do anything super fancy with it. At least the old version. I don't know. They may have some new, newer version of it out. Because I haven't used it in years. But I bet the, it was, it's very basic, but it does get the job done. 
when you want to make edits on videos. So there's that. But I would, with if I did these, I guess you would say how-to videos. But it's really not how-to because I'm not that, that good at it. <laughs> I would just go over more in-depth my settings that I have for for these different things and just maybe some editing uh some editing things that I do just super basic stuff but could be useful to those starting out let me know if you think that'd be a neat series just a short series of videos to see and if you think they would be helpful some of the townsfolk are wary of strangers you'll have to win their trust before they open up to you Uh, I don't have to replant the cranberries. <laughs> they sell here for 11k. <laughs> and they're going to keep growing. <laughs> oh, that that seems like that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and we got 10 high quality ones too. We'll take one of the cranberries with us. How about that? That series of nine. Oh, was there anything else that I needed to buy? What am I in here? <laughs> the bouquet. Um, there anything else? Why did I come here? <laughs> Good job, me. I just completely blanked out as I went on talking about that idea I had. Um. Huh. Guess I'll walk out. <laughs> I don't remember what I was going to do. Let's see. I don't have to take the cranberries. Oh, I was going to... And I have the minecarts open. Why didn't I use the minecarts? Uh, I don't think I'm going to get to the blacksmith in time. I was going to open the geodes today. Oh, he just closed. But maybe... Nope. Alright, we'll do that tomorrow. Sorry about that. Remember, I was going to go mining today, but... I still have time. I could do that. Ship all the cranberries. Most of these. And some of the special ones. The high quality ones. <laughs> store, store. Oh boy, I need another. Let's do that. Actually, I'm not going to go to the mine today. I'm going to go. I'm going to go chop stuff down. Chop, chop trees down. New chest. Where do I want to put it? I guess beside all the others for now. <laughs> and again, at some point I'll rearrange all of this. I know I keep saying that, but I actually will at some point. <laughs> oh, honey. Grab that. I'm actually going to store that, in case I need it for something later. Store the honey. Um... Oh, that's the other thing I was going to talk about. Uh, somebody in the comments brought up a really good point. And again, this will be a little later. It'll be like, I said that like a week ago. Just remember the timeline with this, because <laughs> I record these in bulk. Um, I... Uh, it was a, it's a it's a really good idea that I need to grab the crab pots. No, that I should um build. I should upgrade the kitchen. Or I should upgrade the uh, house and get a kitchen. That way I can cook stuff for when I go mining, and that's a fantastic idea because in the winter I plan on doing a lot of mining. So before we hit winter, I want to upgrade the the farmhouse. So 
let's check on that tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow too. Hopefully I remember. And it takes, I know it takes some money, a good amount of cash. And a, a lot of wood, which is why I'm chopping stuff down now. Go ahead and do that. Also, I plan on upgrading probably the axe real soon. Since I need a lot of, a lot of wood to upgrade stuff. So I plan on doing that as well. Depending on how much money we get, I think I'll do that tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll upgrade the axe tomorrow. We have the iron, so we can make a steel axe. And also before the winter, since I'm going to be in the mine a lot, I'm going to upgrade the pickaxe as well before fall ends. So I'm kind of moving up the timeline on a lot of things. But... I think... I think we can do it. about all all I got for the plants. Oh, I never did go and get the the shorts. <laughs> I was going to do that today as well. All the things I wanted to do today that I just didn't get to. That's fine. And we'll process the geodes before we ask Clint to do stuff. Before we ask him to upgrade the axe. Cuz we're going to ask him to upgrade the axe. Okay, nine to six. We can try to do that, fit that in tomorrow too. It's all okay. Oh, I got some coal, that's awesome. And we can't break these yet. That'll probably be steel, maybe. Yeah, I figured that. I still got got quite a bit of it. Chop you down too. This way. <laughs> Inventory is full. It sure is. go. Got some room over here now. And another. Oh, we could take a few cranberries. Ah, uh, well. I sold them all. Sell, sell. Restore the rest. <coughs> Huh, excuse me. I could take a few of these that I kept. And what were you? Pickled eggplant. Alright. Start those. Got some coal. That's cool. Always need more of that. Pine tar, yes. No, do not drink Jojo Cola. Store all of that. Forgot to hand out flowers too. <laughs> all right. I think we're good. No, 
now. Put it in the... That's weird. I know we've done it before. Huh. Weird. Well, let me put something else in there then. There we go. Sell the pickled bok choy and the pickled eggplant. And go to bed. And there we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. The 78 cranberries were 11,154. The 15 good quality cranberries were 2,670. And the 5 high quality cranberries were 1,070. I don't have a piece of paper by me, but I do have my phone. <laughs> And I know we could just, I'm still just acting like Harvest Moon. I could see how much I sold them for, but I'll just do the math right here. 143 apiece for the cranberries. And then add 25% to that for the good quality and another, and 50% over the regular for the high quality. That's a lot. And you get them in bulk as well. And you don't have to replant the seeds. You just continuously water them and you get more cranberries. Highly impressed by the cranberries so far. Very good crop. They said, or Living Off the Land said that fall was the money-making month, and it sure seems that way. So, so far the investment's paying off big time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. Again, please leave a comment uh, below about what you think about the help videos how-to videos explanation videos whatever you want to call them i don't know i'll have some cool name if i actually do the <laughs> actually do the series and uh, let me know what you thought of this episode sound good <laughs> again thanks for watching hope you had a lot of fun i'm cinder a9 remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone